A few hours ago I got notification that Affinity has done a minor little update to their 1.8 version which takes us to 1.8.2. Now the reason I even considered doing a video is because of something interesting that they did in Affinity Designer. The Affinity Photo has got kind of a lot of fixes to it so there seems to be quite a few things that needed attention there. Um, but I want to focus on Affinity Designer 1.8.2. In version 1.8 of Affinity Designer, I had a little complaint that this Allow PSD Smart Object uh, support, uh, that was a tool that we could import a PSD and work with these mockups that uh, the Photoshop file would bring in and be able to manipulate it. Turning this uh, smart object into an embedded object in Affinity and then you could manipulate it. So that didn't exist in Affinity Designer. It was in Photo. So I literally had to do it in Photo, manipulate it, and then just open the file inside Designer. And in Designer you couldn't modify it at all. Um, so yes, for me this is the, about the biggest announcement here, is that they're allowing this now inside of Affinity Designer 1.8.2. So that if you've got 1.8, you can upgrade to 1.8.2 uh, at no cost from Serif. There's quite a few fixes here, um, but I'm not going to go through that. This is the main one that I wanted to show you. Uh, publishers just got a handful of fixes. Um, yeah, there's, there's one thing here that says Fix Node Cycling Tool, and I tried it now. I'm not sure if I'm clicking the correct keys, and it still doesn't seem to be working. But... Um, yeah, anyhow, this this is the one I just want to show. And for for those of you who are opening the program and going and saying, okay, let's go and open up a, uh, let's get this mock up. Um, possibly do a, what can we do here? Paper edition. This one is quite nice. So there we have it. There's a mock up. It's a PSD. It's already initiating the designer. Um, desire to open it. Okay, so I'm opening it. So there we have mockups. Now, this mockup over here we couldn't edit uh, as an embedded object. So if I look here, if I go in here now, there's something strange happening, and this is what you might be wondering. After this update, it doesn't seem to work, but it's probably because by default it's not going to be toggled on. So it will still appear as pixels. You've got to go edit preference menu under general you see here we have documents open connect a group import PSD as text as text rather than bitmap and here's now additional little box here that says import PSD smart objects where possible we've got to check that box it's the same process I went through when showing the other video about affinity photo so the question is why not just enable that it's because people have been working with this without that feature uh, since the launch of uh, this product. So now just to add the feature and make it by default would be a challenge. Later versions it probably would just automatically be checked. But now you have to do the check there. Close it and you have to shut it down. Um, or just yeah, just close this off because you can't work on this now. It's going to, it does that PSD modification on import. Okay, so if we read correctly there, let's read again. It says import PSD smart object okay so you've got to do a new import the process happens on import let's close this open that same file okay so there's no import here it's open and import means the same thing okay so we go there open that and now you'd see something very interesting I'm going to just expand this layer you can see here it says embedded document Okay, now if you double click in here, it's going to ask you to rename the thing. So you've got to double click on the icon. If I double click here, you're going to see for rename. If I double click here, you'll see it opens the embedded object. Okay, now here, same as in photo. And what makes the serif range so powerful is that we can undock the embedded window and see how things are updated real time. So I'm going to undock this and maybe just size it differently uh, let's get that sizing down there um, and I'm going to zoom out there a bit and then move this out of the way so I can see what happens so if I move this you can see it shifts around there um, 
I can, what can I do here? Maybe put in a little square here on top. Okay, and I'm going to just move that to the back. Where do I have this? Oh, there we go. Move one back. Righty. So that's the, the brilliance of this. Now I can drop this in and we can use this as a full on background and see that go through there. Okay, can you see that? That's phenomenal. So this, the, the normal power of real time um, embedding where you can see the thing happen is what makes this totally powerful. So I mean, as you manipulate it, you, or you can't manipulate it there, we've got to do it here. See it there. Okay, so now the tool is there. So don't forget to enable it in the preference section and you will have the full-on features to be able to work with um, the Photoshop files that's got smart, um, what do they call it, smart objects in them. Well, let me use the proper term. Yeah, smart objects. So long last I worked with Photoshop that I forgot these terms. But there we have it, um, and it's now available in Affinity Designer. So have a fantastic day, and God bless.